Hello, Mioni here, and today I thought I'd put up these patch notes read out as many of you might wonder exactly what the patch was for today. This is patch 4.06a. This is almost completely a PvP patch. I was unsure at first whether or not to make this one or put it out, but there are people who would be interested in this format of read out notes, even for PvP videos, so here we are. Just a warning, there are no PvE changes really, only a couple of hot fixes that I'll mention at the end in regards to Omega Savage. So the majority of this will be read out notes as they come, so let's get down to business. Paladins have had a few changes, mostly nerfs. Shield Bash has had its stun duration reduced from 3 to 2 seconds. The cover action has had its oath gauge cost increased from 20 to 25. Shield Oath has had reduction to damage taken change from 20 to 25%, and a reduction to damage dealt from Shield Oath change from 20 to 25%. Warriors have had significant changes this time around. Their health has been increased from 15,000 to 15,500 HP in total. Defiance has had its increased maximum HP change from 20 to 25%. With Defiance also had an increase to HP recovery via healing magic change from 20 to 25%. And also a reduction to damage dealt change from 20 to 25%. Some nice little buffs for Defiance there. The Onslaught ability has had the additional effect been changed from knockback to a stun with a duration of 2 seconds. A lot of people in the community so far, it seems on Reddit, are quite happy with it being changed to a stun. It looks a lot more fun, and we'll be seeing that more often in PvP, no doubt. Dark Knights have had a couple of changes, mostly to Grit. The reduction to damage taken and damage dealt has been changed from 20 to 25%, and Power Slash has had a reduction to targets HP recovery by healing magic changed from 20 to 10 percent. Monks have had two changes. Tornado Kick has had its potency reduced from 2,500 to 2,000, and Riddle of Fire has had an increased damage effect reduced from 20% to 10%, as well as an increase to weapon skill recast time change from 20% to 10%. Dragoons have had two changes. The jump ability has its potency reduced from 1,250 to 1,000, and Battle Litany has been changed, its recast time reduced from 120 to 60 seconds, and an increased damage effect reduced from 10% to 5%. Samurais have had a few changes to their Shinten, Soten, and Shiten abilities. Shinten has had its Kenki gauge cost reduced from 25 to 20. Soten has had its Kenke gauge cost reduced from 25 to 20, and its recast time reduced from 10 to 5 seconds. And Shiten has had its Kenke gauge reduced from 25 to 20 as well, as well as the potency increase from 750 to 1000. Ninjas have been changed interestingly. The Action 3 Mudra, the Ninky Gauge cost reduced from 80 to 40. Raton, its potency reduced from 2000 to 1500. Bavakakra has its potency reduced from 3000 to 2500. With the additional effect of a stun with a duration of 2 seconds has been added to this ability. And Mug has had an increase to the Ninky Gauge reduced from 30 to 20. This is quite a nice change so far, it's gone down quite well. The ability to use Mudras more often is going to make Ninja more enjoyable in PvP. Bards have only seen one change and that's been to their HP. This has been increased from 10,000 to 11,500. Machinists have had exactly the same treatment with their HP increase from 10,000 to 11,500 as well, just because they were a little bit squishy. Black Mages have had their HP increase from 10,000 to 11,000, and Foul has had its potency reduced from 4,500 to only 4,000. Summoners have also had a HP change from 10,000 to 11,000, and that's pretty much all for Summoners. Red Mages, however, have been changed quite a bit. Their health has been changed from 10,000 to 11,000. Vera Eero has the potency increase from 1,500 to 1,750. And Ver Thunder has its potency increase from 1,500 to also 1,750. 
Impact has been changed with its potency increased from 1,750 to 2,000. And Manification has its recast time reduced from 60 to 45 seconds. So a bit of a mixed bag there, but not really the changes that Red Mages needed to be competitive. They're still a little bit squishy in PvP and a bit poop, in all honesty. So, you know, some more changes needed to be done to that, probably in 4.1. White mages have been changed with their ability region. The effect of region will now always be overwritten when reapplied. Scholars have had adlocium will always now be overwritten when reapplied. And lustrate will have an increase to fairy gauge changed from 10 to 5. Astrologians have had essential dignity recast time reduced from 15 to 10 seconds. And disable has had its recast time reduced from 45 to 30 seconds. The additional action recuperate has also had its recast time reduced from 60 to 45 seconds. And a trait has been changed with the increased action speed. This is a decrease to weapon skill and spellcast and recast times change from 5 to 3%. The only other changes outside of PvP are the changes to Deltascape V4 and Deltascape V4 Savage, where damage over time from Blizzard 3 was higher than in intended. An issue in PvP encounters wherein players could be knocked back even when using the PvP action concentrate has also been changed. So there you go, all in all a pretty basic patch, all PvP centred. Uh, this is going towards their huge PvP changes that are planned for 4.1. More information will be available on the further news videos, hopefully we'll see more from the live letter and the 24 hour live stream celebrating the 4 years of Final Fantasy XIV. But from me, Mioni, this is pretty much it for the patch. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.